First day yesterday, 10 k's down. How's the whole experience going for uh, so far? As, uh, before the start, it was as usually just a time trial and full gas. And uh, after I crossed the line, it all turned <laughs> different. That was, uh, was really a big experience for me. Uh, I didn't expect to go that well. Uh, yeah, I was kind of surprised. Yeah, you've certainly, uh, certainly uh, stamped your mark on the race, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah it's. Uh, <laughs> feels really good to, to be in the top every time I'm there, but uh, this one's special. So, uh, obviously early season form, are you hoping to carry this through to further races? Yeah, I'm hoping so. Uh, right now I'm in a good shape, uh, mostly because I'm doing the World Championships on the track uh, just in the beginning of March, so uh, shape's already good, but uh, after that I get a small break and hopefully I'll be able to, to build on that. How is it with doing road and track? How easy is it to balance it? It's uh, sometimes hard, uh, mostly because of the travel program and stuff like that. But uh, physically, it's it's really good. I think it gives me uh, extra power and uh, yeah, better position on my bike. Getting used to sitting long forward and stuff like that. It's, uh, There's obviously a lot of travelling. Like oh, you've got the Colombian one coming up soon. Is it? Will you be attending that? Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Uh, the World Champs in uh, in Colombia. So that's end of February, is that right? Yeah, yeah, end of February, beginning of March. So So what what can we expect from you there? Uh, hopefully we'll see uh see some medal. Uh we'll see uh we have a good chance with the Danish team pursuit team of going uh yeah, we're going for gold, but let's see about that. Uh it's possible. And then uh, I do the points race. Hopefully I'll uh, I'll go in the top of that one too.